and between them and that place, Israel, who have never played in Belfast before. It will be very interesting early on to see what the Israeli tactics are. Jack Mansell, their manager, says they're bound to come forward and attack. That's the only way they know how to play. I wonder how much of that is bluff. I think perhaps it'll be Northern Ireland's tactics that will decide the outcome of this game. Remember, all they need is just one point. The usual high ball from Jennings. Up goes Armstrong. Now here's Chris Nichol. Trying to find Old Brotherston. Cut out there by Jakob Thorne. McCreary now for Northern Ireland. To Brotherston. Cross in low, but not a good cross. Here's Tommy Cassidy. Northern Ireland pressing forward immediately. Billy Hamilton up there and Javi misjudges his run. Just gets to the ball in the end but the referee has signalled that it's a corner to Northern Ireland. Habib carried the ball over the line. So just 90 seconds gone, and already Northern Ireland putting Israel under pressure. Brotherston to take it. It's a poor one from Brotherston. Here's Chris Nickel now. McElroy. And that was Avi Korn who got it away for Israel. Donaghy with the throw in to Hamilton. And McElroy takes over. Up goes Armstrong, header, but wide. Jerry Armstrong, remember, got the vital goal against Portugal some six months ago here at Windsor Park. Cassidy for Northern Ireland, forward for Armstrong. He's got Billy Hamilton in the middle. Back to Brotherston. Goes Hamilton and well taken by Habib. Well, he's quite a flamboyant character, this goalkeeper, and you can be sure that if he thinks he's even touched, he'll go down and stay down. But Billy Hamilton, supposedly the offender. Chris Nicol with a header for Hamilton. Seemed to be pushed there, but the referee doesn't see it. Brotherston. And Northern Ireland beginning exactly as they did against Scotland. Hustle and bustle all the way, keeping the opposition under pressure. Jack of Corn with the free kick. Avi Cohen to show over carries the ball McElroy for Northern Ireland so Donaghy with the throw in Hamilton coming close but it's going over his head for Armstrong McCreary in there, still not away, point for Brotherston and Javi back with his foot. That was a good save by the goalkeeper. The crowd already vociferous in their support of this Northern Ireland team. That's gone for a corner. David McCreary with the shot there, he slightly miscued, but it forced Javi to a good save. Bad one from Brotherston. 
Well, we can afford him that one, but no more tonight. Aviv, who saved a penalty in the game against Portugal in Tel Aviv. running at Robertson could get it but well covered by Avi Cohen the referee seen a foul there against Tom Cassidy and the free kick to Israel Jakob Cohen the man brought down and here's Avi Cohen but that's a full ball from him straight into touch Avi Cohen recently transferred back to Maccabi Tel Aviv from Liverpool Armstrong. Good cover there by Bell. That's Bob. Dampty with the header. And Chris Nickel for Northern Ireland. And Israel, to their credit, have uh, quite a few players up front. Benny Lamb expected to play in midfield is pushed up alongside Dumpty and Tabak up front but they'll not get very far with uh, passes like that that from Mamillion <laughs> well Jennings falling it didn't affect the kick though can Billy Hamilton get in? No, he can't. And Barr to cover for Israel. Armstrong. Ravi Cohen thumps it anywhere. Billy Hamilton's onside. Well out, Javi. Now Cassidy. Cassidy shots! Oh! What a tremendous effort by Tommy Cassidy. Look at it. High up. Billy Hamilton finds himself onside. Havid comes out. It's a good punch by him, but he's well off his line. And Tommy Cassidy has a first-time effort. Not far off. Northern Ireland once more in the attack. Dampty. Donaghy for Northern Ireland. Cassidy caught out there by Ekosh. Dante, the captain. Trying to find Tabak, but it's a bad ball, and Jimmy Nickel gets his first touch in the game. Avi Cohen. Oh, that's nice play. We've got to watch for Cohen. He likes to think of himself as the Beckenbar type player coming forward. Shum. That's a lovely pass from Magnus. Israel forward in strength. Donaghy with that tackle. Vermillion to Dante. Dante again. And the cross finally from a million. Easily cut out. Billy Hamilton to chase. Chris Nickel giving the instructions from the back. It's a good run from Armstrong, but he's brought down by Shun. Well, it's Shum who's taking Armstrong and Avi Cohen 
who's taking Billy Hamilton at the back. Man for man marking. Here is Hamilton. So it's been a fairly frantic opening 10 minutes. No goals as yet. And of course, if it stays that way after 90 minutes, Northern Ireland will be quite satisfied. A point is all they need. Damti. Damti now again for Israel. That's just run a little bit too far for Mamillion. Strong forward for Hamilton. Still there, Billy Hamilton. Now Brotherson takes over. And Brotherson's through! No, Brotherson should have scored. That really was a magnificent chance for Noel Brotherson. The ball broke so well for him, but the finish was not there. Bobbing around in the penalty area Billy Hamilton leaves it for Brotherston and well he gets the run of the ball there just look at that gap he should have scored Shum Marmillion some nice play here by Israel Ekosh back to Marmillion Dumpty on the outside players forward here's Ekosh but he's caught offside the linesman's flag is up and Yakov Ekosh has to run back and start again. Just over midway then through this first half. Still no goals. Northern Ireland doing most of the pressing. A little bit too frantic at times, and they've got to steady it down. Here's Brotherston now. Some room. Good skill from Brotherston. Not quite the cross required. Cassidy. Hamilton! What a great first-time shot from Billy Hamilton. And Habib was very well positioned to take it. Here it is again. Cassidy tried first time, spun well for Hamilton, hits it first time, and Javiv well placed. And here's Cassidy again, out to Jaminica. Up goes Hamilton. <laughs> and we'll settle for that, says Billy Hamilton. A corner. That was it, Sak Shun, who put that ball behind. Number seven. We do have an injury in the middle of the field. It's Dave McCreary who's gone down. And Jimmy McGregor, the new Northern Ireland physio. I'd quickly to have a look at him, it doesn't look too serious. Maybe getting a few, few instructions there from Billy Bigham. So McCreary fitting well again. And Sammy McElroy moves over to take the corner kick. That's wide for Nickel.
Chris Nichols' header not going quite where he wanted it to. Still the pressure is on though. Brotherston. And Cassidy. Ooh, and well that looked a foul, and it was a foul. Jakob Cohen. Jakob Cohen, the offender. And the free kick to Northern Ireland. Timmy Nichol takes it. Up goes Billy Hamilton. On strong, yes! What a beautiful move. 28 minutes gone. Northern Ireland took the lead through Jerry Armstrong. Noel Brotherson runs over the ball. Jimmy Nichol takes it. And while Hamilton climbs so high, gets the header in beautifully. And Armstrong, first time, have Eve no chance. The crowd go absolutely mad. And suddenly the pressure is off. Northern Ireland, that crucial goal in front. And remember, needing only a draw to qualify for Spain. Now into injury time in this first half. The referee whistle to his mouth. Finally decides to give it a blow. Or has he? No, it's... Uh, what he, <laughs> I thought he'd given the bye ball, but in the end he decides it is half-time after all. So a sparkling first half from Northern Ireland, full of everything we've come to expect from them. Commitment, non-stop pressure and aggression. And more to the point, we've got the final goal. Jerry Armstrong walking off there with Sammy McElroy. Armstrong running in so well on the Hamilton header. He's just telling Sammy how he did it. And that goal after 28 minutes gives Northern Ireland a crucial half-time lead. 1-0 against Israel. So now it's a question of Northern Ireland holding on to this lead over the next 45 minutes to secure a passage to Spain for the 1982 World Cup Finals next summer. And I'm sure this uh, capacity crowd here at Windsor would like to see another couple of goals. It's been a very tense match so far. Some of the play hasn't been that good, but uh, you can't really complain about Northern Ireland's attitude. Here's Brotherston early on. Armstrong again with the shot, and Habib takes it well. So Armstrong not wasting any time to get back in the action. Magnus to Dante and back to Magnus. Avi Cohen. And Chris Nickel takes that easily. And that was a little late by Dave McCreary. And Shum, who was uh, booked in the first half, gets a little treatment himself. Malmillian to Ekosh and back to Avi Cohen. Forward for Dante. Dante Ryan Donaghy. Well, as they did in the first half, Israel have given Northern Ireland an early warning. Don't take too much for granted. Jimmy Nicol forward for Armstrong. And Hayim Barr comes across to cut it out. Ah. 
Jimmy Nicholl very far forward to Brotherston. Not quite what it Lord Brotherston intended. Armstrong back to Jimmy Nicol. Up goes Hamilton. Habib gets the header and Cassidy. Well, a very intelligent header there. Habib caught off his line momentarily and the long header in from Tommy Cassidy almost catching out Israel. to Aviko to trying to get Jakob Kaur in the way but here's Brotherston Mal million to Shum too far for him. Armstrong takes it and that's just outside the box Jimmy Nicol weighed on by the referee in Northern Ireland the full use of the advantage getting the corner Jimmy Nicholl has spent very little time in his own half tonight, pushing forward as an extra attacker. That was John O'Neill up there. Got his head to the ball, but not quite the direction. It's a bitterly cold evening at Windsor Park, but the crowd, no doubt, warmed by the importance of the occasion and by the way Northern Ireland are playing. And of course, they've got that precious one goal lead at the moment. Armstrong. Jimmy Nicol outside. And there's Cassidy. Abby Cohen takes that throw in quickly. Back to Cohen. Ekosh to Magnus. Sally Mackerel. Donaghy with plenty of time. That was an intelligent ball there. And Gad Magnus, the Israeli fullback, uh, coming forward at every opportunity. Well, million. Akosh. Avicorn to tidy it up. To Magnus. Back to Cole. Northern Ireland being forced back at the moment. Determined, of course, not to give away a goal. Jimmy Nicholl. to Brotherston and back to John O'Neill first time for Hamilton and out to Jimmy Nichol that's good play Jimmy Nichols cross Armstrong and Jerry Armstrong might well have done better with a header might have got his second goal of the evening Jakob Cohen just uh, tying up those laces being snapped by the photographer the referee very anxious to get play uh, underway
much a booking for, I think it's Ave Cohen, yes it is, he says, what for? There it is, you can read his lips. What for? That's about the fifth time he said that. You better be careful, he'll be sent off. So that's Itzhak Shum in the first half and Ave Cohen in the second. Two bookings against the Israelis. Cassidy, back to McCreary, Jimmy Nicol. Very cool play from uh, Gerd Magnus. And if anyone ever thought the Israelis would be an easy touch in this group, They've certainly proved them all wrong. None of their matches have been uh, particularly one-sided, and certainly in Tel Aviv, they've been a measure for anybody. At the moment, Northern Ireland seem to have gone off the boy. There must be a temptation, I suppose, in the back of their minds uh, to sit back a little bit. They know, of course, that a draw is enough. They're already a goal to the good. But uh, there are many dangers in employing tactics like this. And the Israelis showed against Portugal in Tel Aviv last month that they can score goals given the chances. Cassidy. But it's going to run to McElroy. Donaghy forward, good ball to Armstrong, nice touch to Brotherston, first time shot. Now that was much better. And it called for a good save from the Israeli keeper. That was good, one touch stop. There's the Brotherston shot in the final and Aviv over to cover. The header comes in from Mal Donaghy, who I would suggest has had an outstanding game so far this evening. Sinai getting into the game immediately, two tar back. And wide for Ekosh. Sinai again. It's well million. Dampty, the only man forward, it's going to run for him. Well, that was very, very close indeed to an equaliser. That is as close as Israel have come to scoring, and I don't think Dampty realised how the ball was running for him. Here yeah, we're going to have another look. Sinai just coming on as substitute. Well, Millian plants it forward, and well, Chris Nichols looking for Pat Jennings, and the ball's bouncing everywhere, and Dante couldn't quite get it. McElroy for Armstrong. Now there's plenty of room here. Brotherston being held by Jakob Cohn but uh, still gets it to Jimmy Nicol to McElroy Cassidy making Mal Donaghy chase it no Hamilton took a long while about putting his flag up as soon as Billy Hamilton broke through I looked to the linesman the flag was down at first but finally he signalled a 
Pat Jennings, he must be rather cold at the back tonight for Northern Ireland. He's hardly touched the ball. Well, I think that was... Uh, yes, I don't think there was any harm done there. Ed Kosh uh, bumping into Donkey. Hamilton goes up. Cassidy. A good effort by Tommy Cassidy. Having a quiet word with the referee. Jerry Armstrong, who's been popping up everywhere, gets the cross in. And there's another man who's been popping up everywhere. Billy Hamilton with the header. And Cassidy shot. <laughs> Tremendous noise all around the stadium. Armstrong forward for Brotherson. Roy. Well, that's as close as we've come to a goal in the second half in Northern Ireland. Sammy McElroy almost made it 2-0. And there's a Martin O'Neill watching Sammy McElroy act as captain tonight. Of course, Martin having to sit out the game. I don't think he'll mind too much if the result stays this way. 1-0 so far to Northern Ireland. Just a couple of minutes left. You can see the smile in his eyes there. A little tension there as well. But he knows his ticket is almost booked for Spain. <laughs> I wonder if he's going to Spain as well. He'd better bring the ball back then. I don't think he realises he's holding things up. into this group six not so much thinking about qualifying for the world cup finals more to make their mark within UEFA. and i think to be very fair to the israelis they certainly made their mark and UEFA must now consider very seriously a permanent entry for them within the association sinai Sinai again into the final minute Jerry Armstrong to McElroy and Brotherston for almost the first time this evening popping up in the left wing Come off Brotherston's foot at the end, but the referee agrees with Brotherston and not with me. And it's a corner kick to Northern Ireland. <laughs> the wee smile from Philippe Egan. Time is up on the watch. We're into injury time. Armstrong. The whistles come up from the crowd, they want to hear the most important whistle of the evening from the referee. And 
I don't need to say anything. Billy Beard looking as delighted as he was way back in 1957 in that game against Italy. He made the World Cup as a player and now he's taken Northern Ireland to the World Cup finals as a manager. Jerry Armstrong, the goal scorer, with Billy Hamilton. The two of them worked so hard this evening. And I think the referee wants Jerry Armstrong's shirt. <laughs> I don't think he's any chance of getting it. No one will want to lose the souvenirs of this evening. It's a time for delight, in particular for those fans. And how proud Billy Bingham must be. He knows deep down how much his team has done, not only for the spirit of football fans in this province, but for the spirit of everyone. Congratulations to Bingham and congratulations to Northern Ireland. Respect to.